everybody. Thanks for tuning back in. It's that time for the monthly layout review. Um, I did a whopping 26 layouts this month. That's actually kind of um, stretching it because some of the layouts that I saved for this month, I actually done last month, but I didn't share them until this month. So anyway, um, I decided I'm not really going to worry about that too much unless it's like design team work that I have to save. Um, but anyway, we'll get I'll get to that. So a lot of these, since I did so much, a lot of these, I just, I'm probably not even going to share on the blog. So this is the only time you're going to see them in this video. So pay close attention. I'll try to go through as much detail as I can. I did a lot of um, Christmas scrapping from pictures from last December. There was a whole scrappy Christmas in July challenge going on. Um, I didn't share all of them on Instagram or in the, the Facebook group. It was through paper issues and, and scrappy like a fox. They uh, teamed up for this challenge. I didn't share all of them, but it definitely just challenged me to really focus and hunker down on getting all of those Christmas pages done for, um, my album just to, you know, just to, just to get it done basically. Um, so this is one that I just did recently and I did share this on my Instagram page. So check that out. I used, um, the Cheeky Studio Pink and Mint Christmas Collection, which sadly is not available anymore, but it was super duper cute. Um, and some of the winter flower sequins, this is actually a winter flowers sticker from Cheeky Studio. And then these are just some puffy, these might be, I don't know if these are thickers or not, but they're just puffy alphas that I really like. Um, and then the paper in the background is some craftsmith and recollections that I just got on sale at Michael's. Um, and the design was just, just a grid design that I've done before. And I just think it's so easy to do. And it was um, something that I thought would be, again, just an easy way to get the picture scrapped on the page because it's a, a simple grid, just the picture. I cut this one down to, I think it was like four by four or four and a half by four, maybe. This one I kept the same size. Then I did the um, the background papers or the pattern papers to be the same size as the photos. And then I backed them on um, a cream colored cardstock. And then I popped it all onto this cool like confetti color, which I really like. And then I created sort of a string of lights here with the bells and the, the little light ephemera pieces. Um, and I've got some pretty flowers and that's a little bird with an acorn and flowers. Really, really pretty. Um, I love the colors in this collection. I think it's just gorgeous and it's your, your non-traditional um, Christmas colors. So instead of doing, you know, the reds and greens uh, for pretty much all of my Christmas pages, um, for last year's Christmas photos, they're all going to be non-traditional colors. Um, so I, I like how the way that turned out. Um, and I liked that the pink and mint collection did go really well with the winter flowers collection, sort of the pinks and the teals. Um, those colors are just, just so gorgeous. And these are just photos of my daughter and my dad uh, coloring last Christmas by the Christmas tree. So I'm glad that I captured those photos. And this sticker says, every day we are given is beautiful, which I think is a really good sentiment. Um, and I decided to put, I mean, it's a little fancy compared to some of the other things that I have on here, but I just really liked that sentiment, um, especially with everything that my family went through last year. Just thought it was really nice to put on this page. So then here's another Christmas one. Um, basically just took all of the winter flowers from Cheeky Studio um, with a couple of the stickers and some of the flare pieces and made like a big old wreath around this picture of my daughter by the Christmas tree that was um, at my dad's house. And then I used one of the four by six cards from uh, the Pink and Mint collection from Cheeky Studio. Did a little bit of spritzing with this um, Shimmers colorings in pink stilettos. Can't really see. It's a one ounce bottle. Um, I don't know if this is still in the Cheeky Studio store. That's where I got it. Um, but it's a really fun color. If you go over it with a paper towel, it gets very light. If you let it dry on its own, it's much brighter. Um, so it's nice that you can kind of work the color a little bit that way. Um, but yeah, this again, I just backed the photos and that card with some black cardstock because there is black sort of in that collection there. Um, and it was just very, very easy to put this together. I had a lot of fun, you know, putting making that wreath around the pages. Again, I'm very into making this easy, making this easy to get the, the photos done. And then this was one, again, using that pink and mint collection. Um, I've got some Echo Park papers, um, polka dot papers in pink and uh, kind of a tealy color. I don't know what this one was, the sparkly pink one. It was just something that was in my stash. And I these were two um, little cards, little, what size are they? Now I can't even remember, like three by four maybe? Um, 
but they were really fun little kind of project life type cards that came in the pink and mint collection. And I used one of them for journaling. And then this was, these pictures were taken on Christmas day. So these are just my daughter playing with all the wrapping paper and the tissue paper, hence the title. And I just did a little bit of um, ephemera clusters here with all the stuff that came in that pink and mint collection. And I cut the photos down to be the same size as this. And I rounded the edges so that they were the same uh, rounded edges as those cards too. So very, very simple and easy. Here's another one that I did about my daughter's first flight was Christmas day, Christmas mornings when we flew. This came from um, a hip kit club uh, kit that I actually used in my for my December daily. Um, I did not use this chipboard piece, so I saved it and I decided to use it on this page. Um, as you can see, I've got more of those Project Life cards from the Pink and Mint collection. Um, and again, I did cut the photo down to size with the rounded corners. Um, this is just white cardstock that I spritzed again using the pink stilettos, the colorings from Shimmers. Um, did a little more of those clusters, got some more of those winter flower sequins over here. They're so shiny and pretty. Um, the background is uh, the Echo Park. I did not use the whole thing. I cut out a bit. That's actually where this came from. So the middle that I cut out, I used on this layout. Use up your, your bits and pieces, your scraps. Um, this, this combines the pink and mint and some winter flowers. So again, those collections go really well together. I think winter flowers is still available, but the pink and mint, like I said, sadly is not. And I just loved those bows. Those are bows are so pretty. Um, here's another one that I did again for Christmas. Um, that's my daughter and my nephew. Um, on their pop's knee, which is why I titled it what I titled it. Um, you know, again, just lots and lots of <laughs> embellishment clusters had a lot of, I loved all the embellishments. Cheeky Studio makes great embellishments. And so I really just went crazy with the embellishments here. And then I used one of the, I cut down one of the Project Life cards. I just wanted the, um, the journaling portion of it. It had, it was a little bit larger. I didn't want it to be too big and it had like a deer in it. I didn't want the deer. So I just cut it down. No big deal. I'll probably, I'll probably use the, the rest of it. Maybe not. Um, this is design team work for Cheeky Studio that is actually going to go up on August 1st. Um, and I love doing this. This was using the July uh, subscriber kit and the Sweet Succulents products, which are amazing. I love the sweet succulent stuff. The flare, you've got the sequins mix, you've got the cut aparts, um, all different types of ephemera pieces. It's just gorgeous. And then it comes with a bunch of, of extras from Vicky Booten and American Crafts and Amy Tangerine. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. I love those planner tabs. Um, you could use them in a planner, all planner pages, if that's what you do. I have fun just using them on regular scrapbook pages, to be quite honest with you. Um, and this was just... I was kind of inspired. I didn't do a, um, a process video for this one, but I was kind of inspired just by seeing other scrapbook layouts where the embellishments just kind of, you know, envelope the photo. And so that's what I was trying to do here. And actually my daughter um, was came downstairs while my husband was working out on the Wii Fit. And she got really into just watching him and kind of like working out with him. So I went into my scrap room. I thought, well, he's watching her. I'll go into my scrap room. And I laid out this whole thing. And then I started adhering things. And I ended up having getting the whole page done while she was working out with him. So that was really great. And this is actually a photo of the two of them walking. We were outside at a restaurant and he was just kind of um, letting her exercise her legs for a little bit. So that's what this layout was all about. So um, there'll be more details up on the blog. Check that out. Um, here's another layout using some of the Cheeky Studio Wishes collection um, and a bunch of you know, paper scraps from my stash. This was my nephew's first birthday. He had a dinosaur cake. Um, obviously, I didn't have dinosaur pages, but I love, love, love the Wishes collection. It's just so versatile. You can use it with so many things. And I love the colors on it, too. So this was really fun to put together. And then this one I had actually pulled. I meant to do something on like maybe Instagram or, or do a, a process video, but this was one where um, I pulled a couple things from my stash and sort of like put together a very like mini kit. Um, so I've got just some old like I think Kane Company stickers. I don't even know who made those. This is the Cheeky Studio Furry Friends collection. And then just like these are just random things from my stash again. Um, and I Echo Park paper, um, recollections paper, things from my, my scrap bin. 
And I just ended up putting them all together on this page. It's just a picture of my daughter and um, my nephew playing together on his first birthday. I used this as the journaling spot. And I really like the way this one came together. It was very easy to put together. This one, I will have a process video coming up. Um, I don't know when, but stay tuned to the um, YouTube channel. I do have a process video. This uses the Cheeky Studio Valentine's Day 2017 collection and a couple other bits. This, I think these are um, maybe Kaiser Craft chipboard and this is American Crafts. Um, and this is just a picture of my daughter um, and her, her cousin's, her cousin's cousin? I think, <laughs> I don't know what the, what you would call that. Anyway, if there is a name and then, then some extra, some shimmers don't rain on my parade. Um, I just put this together really quickly. This little photo thing was from my stash. Um, so yeah, there'll be a, a, a better process video for this one, but uh, this was fun to put together too. Um, this one was also very fun to put together. Again, just using up things from my stash. I had this really fun You Amaze Me page from a Craftsmith um, paper pad that I got at Michael's on a, it was a hot buy. And then I used a bunch of the um, Unicorns and Rainbows collection from Cheeky Studio with those big white bows. Um, I just, the unicorn mode sequins, and it's just my daughter playing it in her crib. She went through a phase where she wanted to bring all of her toys in her crib and play there. And so I took some pictures, of course, and then I just wanted to scrapbook them. And I just, you know, took a bunch of papers and stickers and whatnot and, and layered it, <laughs> layered it all in there. Um, and this is the final result. So just easy to put together. Here's another one of um, my daughter and her cousin and her cousin's cousin um, on her cousin's birthday. Sorry, this is confusing. Um, a lot of old crepe paper stuff, um, crepe paper paper and some big stickers. I don't even know what half the stuff is. It just came from my stash and I was just kind of putting together some random like kit, kit things using elements from my stash. Um, that's a very old sticker. Um, but again, trying to make it easy. I really like the element of having one set of pattern paper up here and then either like a solid or another pattern paper down here and divided by, <coughs> excuse me, and divided by something in the middle there. Um, so I've been playing with that a lot lately, as you saw on the other layout that I did. This one, it was using up, trying to kill this kit that I had. It was an American Crafts Jen had failed kit. I had like all the elements from it. So I'm trying to use up as much as I can from it. I really like the diagonal. I was trying to do more of that design lately. Um, I popped up this photo on some craft foam so that it was, because uh, these are actually the same photo. So I tried to leave this one bigger than this one because um, I'd accidentally had them printed twice. And then I just kind of put some pieces behind them just made some embellishment clusters, used some of the um, American Craft stickers down here for the title because my daughter wanted to eat her soup on the floor. She really likes eating food while sitting on the floor. I don't know. There's some washi tape going down the center, going down that diagonal line there too. Um, this says collect moments, not things. This little is part, this is part of a branding strip. It says home laughter together. And this little sticker here says you are my home. So just again, trying to kill that kit and use up as much elements of it as I could. This one, um, I think I did share this recently. It's her answer is no, or I, or I am going to be sharing it on my blog. Um, Again, inspired by a scrappy Christmas in July, I asked my daughter, do you want to go outside and see Santa? He's coming down the road on the um, fire truck. And she hit her head into the couch and started crying. So um, she still does not like Santa. Maybe this year will be different. I don't know. This uses a bunch of 7 Dot Studio paper and some 13 Arts paper from an old international scrapbook garden kit. Um, a bunch of like Prima Ephemera, Prima Zelatiel. This is a bow bunny cutout. I had to break out my small scissors for that. Um, some Prima flowers, I think these were. So this was a fun one to put together because I had all the elements from that kit still. So again, still trying to kill that kit as well. This is a silly one. And this is going up on the blog soon too. Just a picture of my daughter putting her face in the pancake box. And I have these... Um, um, crepe paper, good vibes, uh, ephemera pieces. And I just like the sentiments of be yourself, be happy, be bright, be you, because you know, what's she doing? I don't know, but you know, be yourself kid. That's cool. And I use some of these silver flowers that had come in an old international scrapbook garden kit, just cause I liked that they were kind of shiny. I threw in some sequins. I did a little bit of splatter, which I wasn't totally in love with after I did it, but obviously you can't just wash that away off of paper. Um, 
but that's okay. Uh, I, you know, it adds a little bit of, of zhuzhing it up, I guess. I got some Kaiser Craft um, teal enamel dots on there too. But um, anyway, yeah. And I was like loving this coordinations polka dot paper. I wish I still had some more of that. This, uh, this went up on the blog recently. This is just a Thanksgiving paper using, again, a fall international scrapbook garden kit. Still trying to kill some of those kits. Those kits, I'm, I wish that that kit club would come back because it did come with a lot of really great stuff. Um, so hopefully Tracy will um, get back into that. These are some Bow Bunny chipboard pieces, some Prima um, enamel dots. That was Kaiser Craft paper, Pie on Designs paper. Just a really easy design because I wanted to keep this uh, Thanksgiving Day card on the page as well with the pictures because uh, the, the card was from her grandparents and the pictures were pictures that her grandparents took when they were when she was at her uh, at their house. So anyway, this is one that hey just went up recently too. Um, I did a lot of mixed media or not a lot. I did some packaging technique with pack, the, the packaging technique on this one with um, some old tattered angels uh, misting spray, and then I used the Cheeky Studio Easter collection uh, with the ephemera pieces here. And then again, just using stuff from my stash. I think these are old Cosmo Cricut tags. I don't even know where this big sticker came from, but I'd had it in my stash for forever because it was orange and I had like oranges and blues. I thought the Easter collection with its oranges and blues would go really, really perfect. So check out the blog today. There's going to be more details on that there. And I have a process video. Hey, um, I've also got this one, which uh, went up on the site, all, went up on my blog already. So this is just... Um, Photos of my daughter playing basketball. I used the Flamingo Fun Collection from Cheeky Studio. This was part of the um, my design team work for them. And um, I had a lot of fun putting this together. I like using the kind of at the angle um, with this, how I did it with the paper and everything. That was really fun. And the Flamingo Fun Collection is really is really sweet and like perfect for summary pictures. It's got the watermelons, but it's also got hearts. So you can use it in a lot of different ways too. So anyway, I like that one. Check that out on the blog. Another one for the Cheeky Studio design team that I did, some mixed media with embossing powder on the back here to get that um, fun stenciled look. Um, I used the Pandemonium collection, which is just super adorable. I've pretty much used all of my Pandemonium collection. You'll see in a, a page coming up soon. Like, it's just the super cutest thing ever. I, just, I love, I think that's probably my favorite, my favorite flair, and that's my favorite ephemera piece. So, obviously, because I have so many pictures of my daughter with uh, stuffed pandas, the Pandemonium collection came in handy. This is one of the first um, design team things that I did for this new um, term, and this was actually inspired by a um, sketch that a uh, fellow design team member shared with us in one of her Facebook groups. I loved using the triangles. I really need to do this sketch, uh, again with more picture, with another picture. Um, I did two pictures. The original sketch was just one and I used the wishes collection. You can see with the purples, um, I cut out some of these circles. I loved those gang and bows. Those are so cute. I'm going to need to get more of those. And I added some washi tape and some ribbon from my stash as well. Ribbon's not staying down very well, is it? Um, but I love the triangles. It's definitely something to, um, to try yourself, especially if you're more of like a circle or especially if you're just like a square person, because sometimes I get so caught up in just using squares, but triangles um, is definitely a fun shape to try on your layouts. This is another Cheeky Studio design team that I did. I have a process video on that one, so definitely go check that out. This uses the July subscription kit and the Sweet Succulents products. Super gorgeous. I did this one for the Scrappy Christmas in July. Um, <laughs> this was a lot of fun using the Pink and Mint Christmas collection. Some of those winter flower sequins you can see there. Just, just a picture of my daughter crying in front of Sienna. Um, yeah, not much I can say. I did put this one up on the blog, so go check that out. <laughs> This one um, is also going to be going up on the blog soon. Here's how I used up the rest of my pandemonium collection. Again, I'm really into just kind of creating wreaths and whatnot with, with my ephemera. That's kind of my new thing that I've been doing lately. So I got some washi tape in there too. Used up that color washi tape. That was for my stash busting, ki stash busting kit, actually. Um, another design team project for Cheeky Studio using the July subscription kit. Check out the process video for that. It's up on the YouTube channel too. This one is going to be going, or it did go up on the, I have a process video for this one. It's already up on the, on the YouTube channel. I'm trying to think of what day it is. Um, again, for Cheeky Studio using the new Family First collection, which is really, really super cute. This is a Mother's Day photo. Um, so check out the process video for that so you can get more details. 
Oh, and this one's coming up. Sneak peek. Um, we're doing a special like cheeky studio hop. So um, sneak peek on this one. Um, my top 10. You're going to get to know all about me and all about the other um, design team members. So stay tuned for that one. That's coming up in August. And then this is my last layout to share with you. It's No Crying at Christmas. Um, I shared this uh, in the... Um, on the blog and for the Scrappy Christmas in July challenge. This is just using a bunch of Vaux Bunny products. So you can go check it out on the blog to get more details on that. But I got all of the stuff from my international scrapbook garden. I think it was the January, February kit. I just had so much fun cutting out this little girl. She's like pointing, it looks like she's pointing to my nephew who's crying. You don't cry at Christmas, but my daughter was unhappy wearing the sweater and my nephew had an ear infection. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you got little kids? So those are all of my layouts. And, um, yeah, I can't believe I got so much completed. It's always um, really exciting when, you, when you've been super productive. So how many layouts did you guys complete this month? I would love to know. Um, I would love to see what you guys are working on or hear what you guys are working on. Leave me some comments. Subscribe to the channel so you can... You never miss out on more scrapbook process videos and more monthly layout shares. And definitely uh, follow the links below so you can follow me on social media. And um, the Cheeky Studio site, um, I'll link that too so you can shop and use my discount code um, to save some money on your Cheeky Studio purchases because obviously you've seen the products that I've been using and you think they're really super cute. Um, and what else can I say? And follow my blog so that you can see all of these uh, layouts when they go up live on the blog. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.